Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Filmora video editing series. In this video, we will see how to use motion tracking feature in Filmora 11. We will create two different types of motion tracking videos. In the first video, we will see how to track single object motion tracking. So we will be tracking the motion of this person. Let me show you. And in the second video, we will see how to use multiple object motion tracking. So we will be tracking the motion of multiple objects. So let me show you that. So here in this video, we are tracking the motion of these two people. So this title is tracking the motion of this person and this title is tracking the motion of this person. So we can track the motion of single object and we can also track the motion of multiple objects in Filmora 11. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I have got Filmora 11 open on the screen. Here I have two videos. I have downloaded these two videos from Stock Media. In Filmora 11, you will get this option, Stock Media, from where you can download different kinds of copyright free videos and images. So I have downloaded these two videos from Stock Media. Now in the first part, we are going to track the motion of this single object. And in the next part, we are going to track the motion of multiple objects. So let's start with the single object motion tracking. This is the video that I'm going to use. Let me drag this video on the panel and let's see the video first. All right, so we are going to cut the video here. Okay, now we are going to track the face of this person. So let's get the pointer here. Select the video. When you select the video, you will see this option here, motion tracking. Click on it. And now here you will see the tracker object. So you can resize this tracker so that it will fit the face of this person so i'm going to use it here and let me make it white so that it will track the entire face so i'm going to resize this tracker to the body of this person okay now click on start tracking all right so the tracking has been done now click on ok now I'm going to attach an element with this tracker element. So here you will see the option element. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach a crown so that it will fit on the head of this person. So let, let me search for crown. You can attach any element or even you, you can also attach third party image. You can download the image and you can add that image to the media and you can attach the image with this uh, tracker. So here I have uh, two different kinds of crowns. This one is the part of film stock and I do have the film stock subscription. So I'm going to use this crown element. So let me drag it and drop it here. All right, now let's see. Now double click on this video and here you will see the attachment. You can select this attachment. This is the crown that we are going to attach with this motion tracker. So select this one and now resize this. Now let's resize this crown. If you do not see the tracker, then you can simply go to select the video and show the target box. So you will see this target box. You can now resize and reposition the attachment or you can say in this case crown now this crown will be attached to this motion tracker box so let's click on ok and let's see how does this look right so you can see that the crown has been attached to the motion tracker if you want to increase the size the length of this crown you can simply double click on it and you can reduce the speed ground length is increased reduce the length of the ground element 
Now, if you attach any image, then you can resize the image according to the length of your video. So let me hide this tracker box. And let's click on OK and let's try this video. All right, so this one looks good now. So this is how you can drag the motion of a single object. Now, instead of this crown element, you can attach any other element or any image or title to the target box. If you want, you can also add song or the audio with this video. So let me go to downloads. I have some audio downloaded. So let me add this one. And let's play the video. Right now, let me export it. All right, done, close. Now let me delete this. Okay, now let's go back to the media. And now let's move on to the next part where we are going to track the motion of multiple objects. So here is the video that I'm going to use. Let's play the video first. All right, so let's pause it and let's cut it from here. Okay, now we are going to track the motion of this person as well as this second person. If you want to track the motion of this third person, you can do that also. So this is the part of the video that we are going to use. So we will need to use this video twice. In first video, we are going to track the motion of this person and in the second video, we are going to track the motion of this second person. So let's copy this, use the keys Control C or Command C and Control V to paste. Okay, so we have got two videos, the same videos twice. So let's start with the first person. This is the person. So we are going to start tracking this person first in the first video. Okay, so we are going to hide this second video. Here you will see the option. You can click on it and this will hide the track. So this top track is hidden now and we are going to use this bottom track. Now let me tell you one more thing that when you use any video for motion tracking you cannot change the speed of this video so let me show you this i'm going to change the speed let's say i'm going to increase the speed to two and now when i select this video you will not get this option to track the motion let me undo it Now with the original speed, I can track the motion. So now let me select this video and click on motion tracking. Now adjust the tracker box here with the first person. Okay, now click on start tracking. Let me get the pointer to the start. Done, now hide this video and unhide this one, the top one. Now click on the top video and click on motion tracking. Now we are going to track the motion of the second person. Click on start tracking. Make sure that your pointer is at the start, at the beginning. Done. Click OK. Now hide the top one and unhide the bottom one. We are going to attach the element to this bottom video. So I have two different types of titles that I'm going to use. I have them downloaded so let me see all right so these are the two different types of titles that i'm going to use and this is also part of film stock i have the subscription of film stock so if you have subscription of film stock you can use the film stock elements so i'm going to use this one first so let me drag it okay now let me increase the size the length of the title Okay, let me get it here and let's see where it is placed. So select the title and you can adjust the width and height of the title. From here, you can change the size. And let me put it here. Adjust the height and width of this element. Okay, now let's select the video again. And here you will see the option to attach. So select the title that we have on the track okay, now or 
แล้ว let's see okay so we have got the first title tracking the motion of the first person now you can change the name here so let's say his name is let's say John Let's replay it. And right now, let's hide this track and unhide this one. So now we are going to track the motion of the second person. So let me drag and drop this second title. Increase the length. And let's see. Reduce the size. change the position of this so you can use any title or any other element you can also attach image instead of title now let me change the name you need to change the size and the position of the title video select the second video double click on it and go to motion tracking and select the second title and now we have attached the second title with this second tracker we click ok now let's play the video now you can see that the this title is attached with this first person and this title is attached with the second person okay you can increase the size of the title increase the length of the title so that it will play along with the people Right now, let's add the audio and let's play the video again. If you want to track the motion of this third person, you can repeat the same process. You can copy this video, add one more track below this video, and hide that one. And track the third video. So this is how you can use single object and multiple object motion tracking in Filmora 11. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Quick tips.